so many times in everything uh, we do, there's a right way and a wrong way of doing things. Over the years, we've seen people get creative. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this thing apart. First, there's uh, three 10 Torx uh, screws here. There is actually a stopper here that we can put in place so that the spring will not lose its position. And we're just careful, we're not, not in a hurry. We're careful to make sure it's done right. And now there's, on this particular one, five screws holding this. Uh... Now this is the pretension or component that, that locks the seat belt in place during an uh, in event of an accident. What they do is they'll, they'll remove these things and they'll get, get uh, the tube, uh, you know, remove all of the uh, metal uh, bearings out of it and put everything back in place uh, and then uh, bolt it back to the unit. Uh, now the thing is is that the, the unit will retract backwards and forwards uh, but your airbag light is going to be on and it's not going to lock in place uh, during an event of an accident. But the issue is that it's not going to work as it should and you're putting uh, the driver or the passenger in risk. So it, it does work but the uh, pyro sensor is still deployed so it's going to give a fault or error code to the, um, uh, the car or the airbag bag module telling, hey, this thing is deployed, it's bad. Another thing that I've seen people do is they'll remove this uh, uh, cap and they will remove this um, leveler out of place. And so they think somehow when they remove the leveler, uh, well, the seat belt is supposed to work properly. Now, what happens now is the seat belt works in any direction. And that's incorrect too, because if the car is rolling over, the seat belt doesn't know that it should lock in place. So that leveler is very important. Uh, no component that the manufacturer had put in place should be taken out. No gears, everything should be back in place after a proper repair. So that's just uh, one of the things that, uh, that we've seen. The other uh, things that we've seen is um, you know, people make a rip, uh, uh, attempt to repair and so what they do is, uh, you know, they would put some kind of plumbing ring, uh, there's uh, uh, toothpicks in there and so there's just a few different variations of uh, attempts of making a repair. But your unit, uh, your repair component should look like this, basically back to the original. It shouldn't, you see the difference? Uh, but in all of these cases, uh, these particular ones are the incorrect type of repair. So if you see something like this, um, take a look, take a deeper look and, and say, hey, is my seat belt repaired correctly? If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. We'll be happy to answer. If you have any other suggestions for us, please share uh, with us down below. Thank you for watching.